but the goods. It's a family show. Love it. <laughs> Thinking I might come again tomorrow. <laughs> Uncontrollably sobbing. You're feeling emotionally stable. <sighs> I'm so excited. Touch too sexy for a gender reveal. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is Harry Day. I'm so, so, so excited for tonight. I'm sure quite a few of you have already probably been to the concert or by the time you're watching this um, would have went. So if you did go, I hope you had a great time. It's currently 12 o'clock. I'm gonna make lunch soon, but my first thing I need to do today is hairspray our feather boas so the feathers don't go everywhere. I've seen like so many people do this and I'm like, that's a genius idea. The only issue today is it is very gloomy and it looks like it's gonna rain. Oh well, the vibes will still be high. I'm just so excited, like literally it could rain, like literally pour down and I'd still be having the time of my life. I've got the goods. Okay, first task of the day. Time to make some lunch. For lunch, I'm actually gonna make this peanut tofu rice bowl kind of thing. It is seriously so good. The peanut sauce is just incredible. It really is. Also, something so embarrassing just happened to me. I was doing a little TikTok transition for Harry and I was like filming it and then I went to like make sure it would like work as a transition for when I'm ready. Anyways, you know how like on TikTok the, the add to your story is down like the bottom corner where the drafts, add to drafts is like on the screen before? Anyways, silly me wasn't looking and I uploaded it onto my story. And you know when you're like trying to do something really fast and suddenly like nothing's working and you can't figure out how to delete it? That was me. I've just made myself an iced coffee and my next thing to do is I was on Princess Paul the other day. I was on like the sales section and they had this like DIY bracelet kit thing. I got this and I'm making some bracelets for us to wear tonight. I've already made a few. You can't even see it. I'll have to show you when I'm done. I'm finally done. I can't really... It's really hard to show you. I've run out of L's and T's so I think that's enough. Okay, it's currently like 3 o'clock. The time has finally come and I'm going to start getting ready. I was going to show you like my outfit before but I think I'll just wait and show you once I finish getting ready so see you when I'm in my outfit we're ready okay it's on the last minute rhinestoning cute oh my god stunning love it I have hat there <sighs> the bowl is itching my neck shoes a messy floor and we're ready for Mr. Styles. Lately I've been dressing for Mr. Harry Styles. She's an angel. Woohoo! We just had dinner and it's only 5.25. Now we're gonna go take some more photos and then it's time. Okay, we've just got some little pick-me-ups. I just had an iced almond milk latte. Katie, what did you have? It's a mango, like, slushy kind of thing. I can't believe, like, we're actually going. This is Kate's birthday present, as you would all know if you watched that vlog. Guys, I want it. I would do anything to hear Fine Line. Like, it's my favourite song ever. Like, that's my favourite song ever by anyone. Is that? Yeah, that's, like, my all-time favourite song. Like, please, Harry, please. I'm begging you. I would, I would be uncontrollably sobbing. While we're waiting, we're gonna do a merch haul. So we got here so early, and there wasn't even a line at the merch. Like I was so stressed, we weren't even gonna like get stressed? anything. I stressed about everything. Um, but yeah, there wasn't even a line. Anyways, let's show you what we got. Okay, this is what I got. I got the jumper. Turn around. With the little Harry's house on it. And then we both got the. Oh yeah, Kate got this for one of her friends. Cute. And then we both got the Love On Tour black tee. Try it on, why don't you? Put it on. Oh my god, so cute. Also guys, I'm thinking I might come again tomorrow. I don't have tickets, but I might just get some. 
like why not? So I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow by myself. Because Kate's busy and I don't have anyone else to go with. Stay tuned. Phone's on 38%. I'm such an idiot, I didn't charge it. Oh, it's giving hat hair. All right, we're going in. She's asleep. Anyways, I just had so much fun. I can't believe we like literally just were there. You know how I said I was probably gonna buy tickets to tomorrow night? I did. I thought of going to a concert alone is a bit daunting, but you know what? This year is all about getting outside my comfort zone, so I'm gonna do it and have a good time. Also, he played medicine, and um, hearing Matilda live was just too much for me. Oh, that song. I can't even think about it without crying. <clears throat> my throat hurts so much from screaming. I love Harry so much. <sighs> Anyways, I've got to go to sleep because I've got training in the morning. But I guess this is turning into a two-day vlog. Hello, it is the next day and it's currently like 5.20 in the afternoon. I'm so excited. Last night was seriously like the best, one of the best nights ever. Like I don't think I've ever had so much fun. Like I did not have an outfit or anything planned. So I'm just going to like, I think wear the red shirt Kate was wearing yesterday. And I think it's just some white pants. I will catch up with you guys when I'm getting ready. I think I'm going to go eat dinner now. Okay, I've just gotten ready. I'll show you my outfit. It's pretty basic but oh well i don't know if i'm gonna wear my hat oh it's my quick fit check white pants white shoes red shirt red boa and i'm ready i'm leaving now oh, i'm so excited even though i literally saw him last night but i'm still just so excited off we go this is no rain tonight I just got myself an iced almond milk latte again when i was walking here i was kind of like nervous to be here alone but I honestly it's not that deep who really cares I really just want to have a good time as soon as he comes out I'll probably forget I'm alone anyways as you've always wanted to be in here tonight without a reason we're gonna have fun we're gonna do it together it's a little bit warm in here stay hydrated if you need anything let me know I love you we're gonna have a good time let's go We all 
say, folks? <laughs> you and me both, sister. You and me both. Psychic readings, we've got gender reveals, montage, everything, something for all the family. Do you have it there? Okay. Lloyd, would you mind passing me that tiny, tiny envelope? We're ready for this, Sydney. <laughs> I get some gender music, please. <laughs> it feels a little too, a touch, touch too sexy for a gender reveal. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be taking my clothes off for that music. Okay. It's a family show! Okay, the good news is, I know something you don't know. And the bad news is, you'll have to wait till the end of the show to find out what you are going to do. Wanna do it now? She wants to do it now. Okay, it was just a joke. Alright, here we go. Hang on, Gina, is this your first channel? Do you have a one-year-old at home? What is, does she have a preference? She's one. She can have preferences, Gina! Nuggets or broccoli, what does she prefer? See, a preference. It's a girl! <laughs> or is it a boy? You'll have to wait till the end of the show. Now, it's a girl, it is a girl. Thanks so much to Gina, everybody. Congratulations. <laughs> It is the next day and the post-concert depression has definitely kicked in. I can't believe it's over. Oh my god, I feel like we've just been waiting for that for so long and it was just over so quickly. I seriously had two of the best nights. Like, it was so much fun. Usually when I'm looking forward to something, like, I'll have, like, these big expectations in my head and then afterwards, like, I'll feel a little bit disappointed because it won't, like, meet my expectations. But I seriously just had the best time dancing, singing, and, like, while I was there, I truly was actually present and not worrying about anything else. And I'm so happy I went again last night. I was like a little bit nervous to go by myself because I was worried I wasn't gonna have as good a time But I can truly say I had just as much fun by myself. Usually I'll use the excuse like oh I don't have someone to go and do it with so you know, I just won't go and do whatever it is But I'm just so happy I went by myself. I can't believe I actually had so much fun and I was alone And I did put this on my Instagram story But I also wanted to say it at the end of this video I guess is there something you want to do and maybe you don't have people to go and do it with honestly just go by yourself Like I know I worry that people are gonna look at me and think oh my god it's so weird she's alone but like no one cares and if I was to see someone alone I would not just start judging them be like oh my god they're alone like I wouldn't even notice so I think that's just what you've got to remember you can't live your life waiting around for people to go and do things with and at the end of the day there is nothing wrong with going and doing things alone like it's actually takes a lot of courage to do so and if you do you should be so proud of yourself because it definitely isn't an easy thing, but the more you put yourself outside your comfort zone, the easier and easier it gets. I feel like last night going alone was like a big step within myself, just proving to myself that I can do things and I'm bigger than like my social anxiety and I do have the ability to push through it. I feel like I've missed out on quite a few things in life because I've been scared to go do things alone because I haven't had someone to go and do it with. But this year I told myself it's the year I make a change and I stop missing out on opportunities and experiences just because I'm scared to be alone. I'm more than capable of going and doing it by myself. But yeah, don't let the fear of having no one to go and do something with 
hold you back and make you miss out on experiencing something that could be just so amazing anyways that's enough talking from me thank you so much for watching this video this is probably one of my favorite videos i'll ever upload and if you guys did go to any of the harry style shows i hope you had the best time i'm sure you did because it was just i'm never gonna shut up about it and if you follow me on instagram i'm so sorry because i've been spamming my story <laughs> but i just can't not thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you all so much and i can't wait to see you in my next video very soon bye